Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Portugal versus Croatia. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4-5-1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Mateo Kovacic plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international, Andrej Kramaric. And the match begins. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there. He's not going to take any messing about here. He wasn't messing around with the clearance. Great defending. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous. When he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. But I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. He has time to play us over. Leal. Dallo. Determined defending. Well, I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I always think it's fascinating to dissect Portugal ahead of a big international tournament. Euro winners back in 2016, beaten finalists in 2004 when they lost against Greece. How about this incarnation of Portugal? How well equipped might they be to win it all? Well, what I like about Portugal is they've got attacking quality all over the front area. When they do get the ball into the final third, they get... It should be! 
Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Andrei Kramaric. And now Perisic. And here's Brozovic. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Kovacic. Kramaric. Here's Modric. And Perisic in the thick of it. Well, the danger is still there. But it just petered out. He's protecting it well. Lovro Maya. Crossing possibilities. Brozovic. And now with Kovacic. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And Modric carries it forward. Well, let's see what he does next. Well, disappointing end to the move. Kovacic. It needs an accurate cross. And cleared away. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Otavio. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Andrei Kramaric. Perisic with the ball. Chance to do damage. Oh, that's a really good run. Oh, an incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Diogo Dallo. So a half an hour remaining. Good through ball. Leal. Timely intervention. Now the quick counter attack could be on. Now, can they take advantage? Perisic. On to Modric. Kovacic. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Short corner it is. Pull back. Just the challenge that was required. Oh. 
Silva. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Leal. And drawing it back. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Ruben Neves. Ten minutes left for play. A bit sloppy in possession. Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrating on finding a winner. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Cristiano Ronaldo. Silva. Fernand. Can he put them in front? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a stalemate. Stuart, what did you make of it all? Well, yes, Derek, probably not the best game. I don't think either team played to their full potential. The final ball was often lacking, and the chances they did create, they were unable to take advantage of. A bit disappointing, really, as I was expecting more. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Well, he struggled to get involved today, and I have to say, he just looked off the pace. Mind you, he was 